all I really heard was just the sound of the train and you know I thought if I opened my eyes I'd see it so like I just you know kept my eyes closed because I was, I was that scared and I was actually hearing it and I was feeling it and like felt all my scars burning up and I didn't even at this at this point I didn't really realize that I was yelling or screaming and you know I, by the time I opened up my eyes you know my my younger brother my younger sister my mother they're all there around me trying to come for me and you know, I asked them, like, why are you all around me? They're like, didn't you realize you're yelling and screaming? You know, the look in, the look in their faces it hurt a lot, too. It hurt me a lot, because, like, you know, like, my brother and my sister, they were crying, you know, they're tearing up, and my mom's all crying, you now they're, because they're hurt, because I'm hurt, and, no, that hurt me even more. It was a normal day, you know, I uh, woke up, you know, Friday morning, went to school, then uh, after school went to Taekwondo. A friend of mine dropped, you know, dropped me and my brother off here at my mom's house, and since I wasn't living here at the time, I went over to my friend's house. I had uh, got, you know, had a shower, dressed up, you know, went and checked my email, and uh, got an email back from Canadian Armed Forces. You know, after I filled out the online application, they were saying come in for further processing, and I got all excited. And you know, went and told my friends, you know, we we're all pumped up and everything. And I was getting ready to go and start my career in the military. We went out to celebrate, went out to a house party, and. Last thing I kind of remember is standing out front of a store with uh, you know a bunch of people I knew from school, and this when I started to kind of black out, and I kind of come to and I'm being dragged down a hill, and you know they got ambulance, you know paramedics all around me trying to tell me to stay awake, and by the time I come back to, I'm in the, I'm now in the hospital, and you know I see all the lights and. They're trying to tell me, you know, just stay awake, stay awake, and I, you know, I just felt really tired, you know, really cold. I just wanted to go to bed. I was like, hey, well, I'm just gonna go to sleep, and I'll wake up in a moment, and I just need to close my eyes. And I closed my eyes, and I guess that's when I had died the first time. And then I, by the time I came back to, I don't know when I came back to. You ever, you know, when your leg falls asleep and you get pins and needles? And well, I got, I got that, but all over my body, and it just, it felt so weird, and it was really intense, and. And then I ended up uh, passing out again, and I guess that's when I died the uh, second time. I, I died a second time for seven minutes, and if I wasn't hooked up to oxygen or anything like that, I'd be brain dead right now. I wake up in the hospital, no, I can't really remember, and everything's all kind of a blur. I'm looking around, I'm hooked up to all these machines, and I look over at my arm, and you know, it's kind of like a great big toe there. I'm just like, all right, whatever, and I go to reach over to rip the blankets off me, and I realize that there was no arm there, there was nothing, nothing. I was like, what the hell? And I started feeling it around, and couldn't feel my arm. I started freaking out, and that's when I used my left arm, and I ripped the blankets off, and I realized my, my left leg was amputated, or my right leg, I mean. And that's when I, I freaked out. I started started yelling, started screaming, you know, I started crying. The doctors came in, my mom came in, and they, you know, they explained what happened to me, and I just, you know, I couldn't really comprehend. I didn't really want to believe. Accidents could happen, but, like, I don't know, it was just, like, I never really thought it could happen to me or my friends or anything like that. I was really active. You know, I was Taekwondo for seven years, got my first degree black belt. I was also in kickboxing for two years and karate for a year. So I was really active and I lost, I lost my arm and leg and I got stuck in the wheelchair. So like that really sucked emotionally, but physically I was able to get through it quite fast. Like the pain and everything, it all healed up quite quickly. It was just, uh, it was just trying to, you know, trying to cope with it. Felt more sad than angry. Like, you know, there's days I'd wake up, you know, just pissed off that, you know, I can't join the military anymore, you know, I can't, you know, live the life the way I was living at the time. My younger brother, my younger sister, you know, they, you know the way they looked up to me, right, and I was that big tough guy, their, their older brother, the one I always helped them out when they needed it. Then, you know, all of a sudden, now I'm laid up, I'm no arm, no leg, and I'm all depressed, and, yeah, my accident and everything, it affected them 
pretty bad. Like my mom even said at one point too, she's like, if you weren't as strong as you are about this situation, I'd, you know, I'd be all broken up just with you. And she said I was her rock through the situation, but you know, they're kind of my rock. I like to share my story, you know, I just like to um, help people out, you know, other amputees that are feeling down too, and it's like, no, no, you can always build yourself back up, and I'm doing it, you know, they can do it too, and um, I'd also like to share my story because there's also, you know, younger kids out there that like to hang around the tracks, and, you know, they think they're invincible and everything like that, but, no, no I, I was like that too when I was younger, you know, look what happened to me, I got one arm and one leg, so, you know, I would like to try and prevent that from happening to anybody else because I know how it feels to be in that situation and it sucks a lot. Anything could happen. No matter who you are, you know, anything could happen. You, know, you can lose your arm, you can lose your leg, you, know, you can lose your life, you, know, you can lose someone you really care about.